The movie I chose for this week is American Dragons, which stars Michael Bean and Korean star Jung Hoon Park. Pardon me if you can. Movie reviews. There is a turf war beginning between the Italian Mafia and the Japanese Yakuza. Tony Luca, Michael Bean, is pursuing a powerful Mafia crime boss, but when the Yakuza Mafia are found dead with a particular symbol left behind, Inspector Kim Jung Hoon Park from the Korean police force comes to the United States to help with the investigation. The killings have the same symbol that was left behind when Inspector Kim discovered his family murdered. Kim and Tony must work together to identify who is behind the killings and stop an all-out war in the underworld. American Dragons came out in 1998 and was directed by Ralph Hemmicker, who has had a very long career in television. The film takes its inspiration from the gritty 80s action films such as Tango and Cash, Red Dawn and of course Lethal Weapon. Much like Big Trouble in Little China, it pits the mythology of the Orient with the American. American Dragons looks amazing. Cinematographer Ernest Holzman does a great job of portraying the underworld of all cultures depicted in the movie. The interiors have so much smoke and dark lighting, it really does look like a film from the 80s such as Hard Rain. Michael Bean is one of my all-time favourite action heroes. We all know him from, of course, The Terminator and Aliens. It was such a pleasure to see him star in an action film. It makes me really wish he would make more. In American Dragons, he plays a hardcore detective who is a well-experienced boxer. The movie grabs all the cliches possible and even throws in strong religious themes of guilt, salvation and redemption. Jung Hoon Park as Kim I found very charismatic. I thought he was a great pairing with Michael Bean. The two seem to have got along really well and looked like they had a lot of fun making this movie. What impressed me about American Dragons is some of the action scenes. When Kim and Tony fight each other in an alley, it pits two distinctive fighting styles. One is a boxer, the other is a karate martial artist, maybe Taekwondo. The fight is clumsy and rough. What's remarkable about it is that no one betrays their styles. Each punch Tony throws is as a boxer. Kim throws kicks as a karate fighter. It is an awesome fight scene to watch as well as hilarious. In another action scene, a mafia hitman takes out a few mafia crime bosses in an extremely well done shootout in a bowling alley. It is very fantastical and unbelievable, but really cool to watch, with great use of music and slow motion. Unfortunately, American Dragons cannot hold its momentum, and the film becomes really murky and muddled. What starts out as a promising, straightforward action film quickly dissolves into juvenile plotting, where reality is thrown out the window. At the beginning of the film, for instance, there is a prominent commander who Tony has to answer to. The commander just seems to disappear midway in the movie, much like the story itself. Tony and Kim break into a Yakuza gang meeting and arrest the Yakuza crime boss. And then in the next scene, arrest the Italian crime boss and then lock them both in a cell. And then Kim asks... What's your plan now? Tony replies, I don't know, which tells me that the screenwriter had no idea where to take this movie. And you can tell where the screenwriter just about gave up, which is really sad because it seemed like everyone in this movie tried really hard, especially the two leads, Michael Bean and Jung Hoon Park, who looked like they were having a great time. The climactic fight scene was really awful. 
the main assassin who throughout the film takes out heavily armed mobsters, struggles against the unarmed Kim in hand-to-hand combat in the final confrontation of the movie. And the seemingly bullseye accuracy of Rocco, the Italian hitman, cannot find any targets in the climactic shootout against Tony. The movie ends on a cliffhanger suggesting that there could be a sequel set in Korea. Kari Hiroyuki was in this as well as a Yakuza head boss, but really he shares only a few scenes, which is surprising considering the calibre of actor and the role itself. This movie takes time out from the plotting a few times, and personally I think often the best scenes in movies are when it doesn't involve the plot. In one instance here, Tony says to Kim that he knows a place where they can relax, and then he takes Kim to a boxing gym where the two begin to train. He says, there's nothing like it. In an hour, you'll feel like a million bucks. It is one of the most awesome training sequences I've seen since Rocky. American Dragons isn't a good movie, and it really pains me to say that, because I'm a huge fan of Michael Bean. And this is an action film that is done for the fans of 80s action movies, uh, which of course I am. If you're a big fan of Michael Bean, definitely check out American Dragons. If not, this is a really painful movie to sit through. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Check out our podcast at www.podmeifyoucan.com. Thank you.